Hi, let's look at how to rescue the rexes to these couple of cases. So I'll be trying to demonstrate the Dr. Brian Little's rescue maneuver to these cases. The first case is an intermittent cataract and uh, the original plan was to do a two-stage rexus. But in between, I become greedy and I thought I can complete it in a single stretch. So as I'm performing this rexus, the moment it reaches it, the stage, I clearly realize that now it's heading out. So until now, the capsule was folded. As we can see, at this position, I just stop, lay the capsule flat and then pull it down centripetally. So this has to be a swift movement and we can see that after a couple of clock hours, the rexus runs in back and the rexus could be saved. Of course, it's eccentric. Well, in these desperate situations, a slightly eccentric rexus will still be all right. So let's examine this entire process in slow motion. So I puncture the capsule, the flap is held and initially the capsule is folded as I'm tearing it and I continue to do it in a folded manner. And when I reach this point, it has lost its the direction and it's about to go into the periphery. So at this moment, timing is critical. It's important to realize at the right time that the rexus tear is heading towards the equator. The moment I realized that the technique was changed from folding, which was there initially, we are keeping the flap flat here. And then with one swift move, the capsule is now being torn using the tearing fashion, but the direction of tear is towards the center. The capsular flap is now pulled centripetally. That is the direction of the pull is towards the center. In this process, the direction of the tear of the capsule changes and after a couple of clock hours, it comes back in. So this was one demonstration of uh, the Dr. Little's uh, maneuver of rescuing the rexus back. So two points are critical. That is keeping the capsule in an unfolded way that is laying it flat and then pulling it centripetally in a swift manner. This is another intermittent case wherein I am trying to do the rexus. The initial rexus itself is being done using a tearing technique. Even in the primer rexus stage, I am not folding the capsule, I am just pulling it centripetally so that I can complete the initial small rexus and it doesn't go away. So it's important to utilize both these techniques, the shearing technique and the tearing technique. Tearing technique comes in very handy when we are dealing with such highly swollen lenses. Now moving on to another case. This is regular cataract. It's not an intermittent lens, but maybe because of a momentary lapse of concentration, the rexus is just heading towards the equator. And as I keep on telling, Timing is extremely critical. If we stop just a fraction of a second before it reaches the equator, we still have a chance of retrieving it back. Thankfully, I did it in this case. The chamber is refilled with OVD and the most important thing for me to do now is to ensure that the flap which is trying to come out through the main incision is retrieved back into the entry chamber. So if the flap comes and gets stuck in the wound and tries to come out, the chances of the rexus tear extending to equator and beyond is 100%. So I'm gently trying to retrieve this flap into the antechamber, trying to make it flat and then would be the next maneuver to rescue it. So the first thing is to retrieve the flap back into the antechamber and prevent it from getting out through the main incision. With the flap now well settled in the antechamber, now is the time to do the Dr. Little's maneuver. And the one thing which I'm doing differently in this case is I'm not going to use the main incision for two reasons. Number one would be the maneuvering from this incision itself would be going to be difficult because the flap is just under the main incision. Number two, as soon as I enter through this main incision, there's always a chance that the flap is going to come out through this wound and then that itself can take the rexus to the periphery. So the idea is to use another port which is already pre-existing. I'm going to use a micro forceps through the opposite side port. This angle of attack is going to be very good and hopefully it will succeed in this case. 
the same principles of going and grasping the intercapsular flap, keeping it flat and then pulling it centripetally in a reasonably swift way, we can see that it runs along the periphery for a couple of clock hours and then comes in centrally. So the direction of the movement is always pulling centripetally but more importantly we need to ensure that the capsule is laid flat and not everted. So that was it. Thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful.